Well, greetings, everyone. Welcome back once again. My name is Robert, and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about the part two session of political uh, political talk issues and concerns. Okay. Um, today is the 12th of October, and by the way, we have 24 days left before the presidential election. Uh, guys, I got to talk to you about something that I saw uh, yesterday. Many of you probably saw it as well. It was a post that featured uh, Barack Obama, and he really had the nerve to, quote, talk to the brothers about why they're not voting for Kamala Harris. And by the way, I'm not voting for Kamala Harris either, nor did I vote for him. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys about that in just a moment. But first of all, knowing we are all adults here, we're all adults. We have thinking, wonderful, you know, minds. We have common sense and we have the ability to make our own decisions and no one can tell us how to vote. Now, the fact that he's telling people He's really upset because people are not voting for her. The reason for that is, is because, you know, see, we're operating with high intelligence here. You know, we can't be fooled with the lies and the schemes of the Democratic Party anymore. You know what I'm saying? Joe Biden said, if you ain't voting for me, you ain't black. Well, see, that's a bunch of crap. You know, we don't fall for that kind of stuff anymore. What we look at today is policies. And me personally, I don't care who you are. Your skin color can be like mine or what have you. But if your policies are not aligned with my policies, we are not going anywhere together, nor will I be voting for you. And that's what the problem is today, folks. People want to talk about Kamala Harris. Well, you know, Kamala Harris... Quite as kept. She just hasn't done anything. She doesn't know anything and she hasn't shown us anything that would justify us voting for her. Look at our border today. People, people don't realize this, but our border has been openly, openly overrun by millions and millions and millions of illegal aliens for going on four years now. And that has really affected in a negative way, our economy, our cities and our states, the nation overall. It's taken away abilities for the American people to get jobs. They're even giving these people free rent, free credit cards, free cell phones, Free food when we have <laughs> we have we have veterans, people that have fought in multiple wars, shed blood for this country so we can have the right to make a decision about who we want to vote for. It's really a doggone shame. And you know, I'm trying to be really, really cool about it. But I'm pissed just like many of you are. No, we're not voting for Kamala Harris and we're not voting for those policies. And let me talk to the community that calls themselves Christians. Let me talk to the community real quick that calls themselves people of God. Well, I'm a man of God, have been nearly all of my adult life. And let me tell you this. I respect the word of God. I respect the Bible. And I respect God's idea for life. And when someone approaches me with a plan to destroy life, I'm not with that. When someone approaches me with a plan to make girls out of boys, and boys out of girls, I am certainly not with that. And if you are with that, you are not in alignment with God. Now, you could be mad if you want to, but that's just the doggone truth. And if you really, really, really want to get down with it, read your Bible instead of listening to 
what some preacher may or may not tell you in a sermon. Read your Bible for yourself and see what the word of God says. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, all it seems to me, all of the policies, and I do mean all of the policies that the Dems want to project onto us are ungodly policies. First of all, when they allowed our borders to be open, that is a direct violation against our constitution. Our president and our leaders, their sole mission is to keep America safe, to keep the people of their country safe. That's their responsibility, they're not doing that. And with that comes inflation, high prices, the standards of the neighborhoods and the communities are lowered. They're letting these people come in who don't know our laws, who don't know our culture. And, you know, many of them are violent. Many of them have. It's just really, really bad. And it never should have happened. And that's why black men are angry and upset. That's one of the many, 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 many reasons I should say that black men are mad and upset and are not voting for Kamala Harris. And now she's talking about what she wants to do. Well, hey, you know, whatever you wanted to do, you should you should have did it four years ago. And you certainly can do it now. You can just go to the border and say, hey, stop, 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 and close the border. It's just that simple. Anyway, let me go in. I didn't want to, I got so much to talk about. I got some points I want to talk about. But First of all, she doesn't have any policies. From what I understand, her only policy is abortion. And they want to do, you, you know, they just spend so much time on the pride thing, the gay rights thing, and 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 it's just it's just really terrible. And you can thank Barack Obama for doing that because he's the one that ushered in the gay rights movement. And because he was a brother, all of the black people that wasn't free thinkers followed that plan and got behind him. And thus, here we are today with the kind of situation that we have today. It all started with Barack Obama. Okay. Have y'all heard enough? Oh, you want, want to hear a little more? Okay, well, look. I want to talk about President Trump. What Donald Trump has done when he was president was, number one, he kept us out of wars. He kept America, for the most part, safe. He kept our borders closed. And he did that by just being a leader, taking command action, doing what was best for the American people. He also had produced a very strong economy that kept most people in the green. People were making money. They were being able to take care of their families. They were being able to afford homes and houses, the cars and things of that nature. Prices were down. And I don't know about you guys, but since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have been in office, my electric bill has increased significantly. My water bill has increased significantly. My grocery bills has increased significantly. And my gas costs have increased significantly. And everything else that I normally buy for my way of life, everything has increased significantly because of the fact that we have so much inflation now because they're printing so much money and they're letting all the illegal aliens in and we're giving billions and hundreds of billions of dollars away to foreign countries and we're not taking care of home. And ladies and gentlemen, that is not right. It seems like America is last. when America. Americans in America should be first. With Donald Trump, that would be the case. With Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, that has not been the case. It's like America has been last. That's why black people, the awakened black people, the black people that are thinking, the black people who don't have the plantation mindset anymore, they have come to realize that that is true. What the Democrats have done is practically nothing but deteriorate the standards and conditions of not only the African American people, but people as a whole. Wow. Interesting, huh? What well, the bottom line is nobody can tell us what to vote for. 
We are our own people. We are intelligent. And, and, and let me say this. For you folks that just watch CNN all day long, that's where you get all of your information from, CNN. Let me admonish you guys to just stop looking at CNN because you're not getting the whole picture. You're only getting a portion of information that the handlers want you to get. The people want to keep the people that want to keep you enslaved and in bondage, they only want you to know so much. That's why so many people don't know what's going on. And they're going along with all of these stupid policies that they want to throw on us. Who in their right mind wants to have, wants to have little boys walking around in the school with tampons in their pants? Who in their right minds wants to see children having sex changes? Come on, are you, are, are you insane? I just can't believe how demonic the dim party is. They never talk about God or godliness. It's always about crazy stuff. And so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to voting in November, you're going to have to make your own decision. I'm not telling you who to vote for, but personally, I'm voting for Donald Trump. Yes, I am. Personally, I'm not voting for Kamala Harris. No, I'm not. And what you guys need to do is get some correct information. Instead of watching CNN, ABC, now you can see even on the debates how those news stations were hostile against President Trump and vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance compared to the, to the Kamala's and the Walsh's, you see how 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 the ill treatment that they did. So that's not fair. Instead, to get more of the truth and the whole truth, watch other news stations like Next News, Newsmax, Real America's Voice, The War Room, ONA, and there's a few others. Watch different podcasts where people are getting the truth. Go to X, where free speech platform is alive and well. There's no censorship. You will get the whole truth, and you will get nothing but the truth if you're ready to receive the truth. Not everybody is. So I'm going to close out today, but I just had these things on my mind, and I just wanted to share. If you like what you've heard, Give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, Seed Time and Harvest, do that. We appreciate it. If you don't like what you heard, I understand that. But by all means, what we're talking about is something that just makes common sense. And if you are a person that has common sense, I think you'll change your mind about a whole lot of things that you've been doing. I guess I'm going to close off. I want to thank you guys very much. Have yourself a super fantastic, wonderful, marvelous day. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the next podcast. Thank you so much, guys. Peace out.